Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and today we continue our Pixrate animation series where we try to create animations like Pixrate. He's a very talented artist, and I have mentioned the link to his Instagram profile in the description below. So go ahead and check him out. In this After Effects tutorial, we will create a very cool looking text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without any further ado, without using any third party plugin. But before we start, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a like. Let's aim for two. 2000 likes on this particular video with that out of the way let's jump into after effects and get started All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to call this render as our main render comp. 1920 by 1080 that is full hd 30 fps and duration is set to 10 seconds press ok let's create another new composition this is going to be our scene comp and press ok select the text tool and you can type in any text that you want i'm gonna type in dripping for the color i'll go with white and for the font i'm gonna go with dharma let's go with extra bold is fine and set the kerning to zero all right let's bring down the size a little bit and this is looking quite nice let's animate this so i'll press r to bring down the rotation and create a keyframe on the rotation property let's go to around two seconds and let's set this to minus one so now we have a rotation but right now as you can see it's rotating from a different angle because the anchor point is not in the center so to fix this, I'll place my time indicator at the very start and I can hold control and double click on the pan behind tool and that should fix the anchor point in the center. And now we have a proper rotating text, but right now it looks very lame. So to fix this, I'll select the keyframes. You can press F9 to easy ease them or right click, go into keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Then jump into the graph editor. Make sure you are working in the edit value graph. And I'm going to try to create an overshoot using the curves that we have. So I'm going to select the point and drag the handle like so. Select the point and drag this one. So now we have a bit more snappy looking animation. But in order to create an overshoot, I can move this handle to the top. Just a touch. Same thing. I'm going to do this from here. And now if I preview this, we have something like this pretty cool now i want to loop this animation so we can add a very simple expression just select the rotation and let's go back hold alt and click on the stop watch and let's add a loop out expression with loop out open and close parentheses and now we should have a looping text animation which looks very nice now, as a full-time motion designer and content creator, we all know how important it is to have our own website where we can showcase our work and provide services. Having a website is like having a check mark on your brand. And this is where our today's sponsor Odoo comes into place. By using Odoo, you can easily build your complete website from scratch for free in just four quick steps. So let's say we want to build a portfolio website. I'll head on to odoo.com and click on start now. It's free. Then select the website app you want and click on continue after which in four steps your website will be ready you can quickly describe the kind of website you want by defining the category and objective select your preferred color from color palette then select the pages and features you want to add to your website the last step is to select a theme for your website and boom there you have it I can easily use drag and drop features of the website builder to customize my website without the need of any coding skill. The first application is free for life along with hosting and support. You also get a free custom domain for one year. So explore, enjoy and grow without any cost. For more information, check out odoo.com first link in the description below. Now let's create another new composition called this map and this is going to be time displacement map. So let's create that. I'll press Ctrl Y to create a new solid. I'll call this fractal and press OK. Go into effects and presets, search for fractal noise. Double click to apply that. Set the fractal type to swirly and increase the contrast to 160. Go into transform and unlink this. And let's increase the scale width to around 600. 
and then I'm going to select the layer, press S to bring down the scale property and let's scale this up by 300. So now we have something that looks like this. We can close this. Go into effects and presets, select the layer and go into effects and presets, go and search polar coordinates. Double click to apply that, set this to rect to polar and set this all the way up to 100%. Now let's go into effects and presets again and search for an effect called luma key. Double click to apply that. Set this to key out brighter and let's increase the threshold until and unless we see this fractal. So we can keep it as intense as we want. I'm going to keep it very subtle. I think somewhere on there should be fine. And then as you can see the edges are quite sharp. So to soften this I can use a Gaussian blur. Let's give it a blur amount of 10. All right, now because this is completely transparent, as you can see, I can add a nice background so that it works as an alpha mat as well for the text. So let's hit Control Y to create a new solid. We can call this BG and hit OK. Go into effects and presets, search for gradient ramp. Apply this and let's drag the point in the center. Set this to radial ramp and swap colors let's drag this point like so all right so so this is going to be our map that is going to drive the animation so let's drag and drop it into a scene composition we can hide that then select the text layer go into effects and presets search for time displacement okay we can double click to apply that and set the time displacement layer to map so now you can see the fractal that we just created is driving the complete animation and it's looking pretty cool. So you can anytime go into the map and play around with the way it looks. So we can maybe scale that up, scale that down depending on the kind of look that we want to go for. Now let's make some changes in the time displacement. So first of all, I'm going to bring down the max displacement to 0 0.3 and let's increase the time resolution to 500. Now make sure to play around with the time resolution the more you add it the more heavy it's going to be on your system so 500 is a sweet spot this will give us this, this nice edges but also it becomes really heavy now let's create another new composition called this main underscore zero one and drag the scene composition that we just created now let's take this one step ahead so i'm going to select the layer go into effects and presets search for echo effect one of my favorite effects here and let's set the echo time to 0 0.06 0, 0, 006 by the way and let's increase the number of echoes to 30 30 should be fine and i'm going to bring down the decay to 0 0.87 so it's going to add this nice trail effect and also going to be very heavy on the system at the same time so make sure you tweak the settings very carefully then i'm going to go in effects and presets and search for gaussian blur and add some nice blur to soften the edges so i'm going to set this to around eight and that is fine now what i'm going to do is go back into our main project panel and duplicate the main composition so press ctrl d so now we have main to open that up and just turn off the echo effect and the gaussian blur effect on this one all right now let's jump into our main render composition. Let's create a background by pressing Ctrl Y on the keyboard. Call this BG for background. Let's give it a nice black color. Then I'm going to drag the main one composition right here. So now we have it. So let's add some nice color to this. And in order to do that, I will be using an effect called Colorama. So that we can get a nice blending gradient. So we can just drag and drop it. Go into input face and set the get face from to alpha then go into the output cycle and let's select a preset you can select anything maybe ramp red or something turn off composite over layer let's jump into modify and turn off modify alpha and i think everything else looks fine now we can start adding some nice gradient to our text so i'll create a point right here and let's give it a nice yellow color select this red point double click and let's give it a nice orange color 
then we can click right here and add another point let's give it a white color and for the final one i'm gonna go with a nice bluish tone i think this should be fine so now we have a really nice gradient blend in and on top of this i can add my main two composition so there you go as you can see it's looking pretty crazy now i want to keep the text a little you know kind of an off white or off yellowish so we can add a fill effect on the text or tint effect let's go with the tint effect and let's make it kind of a nice yellow tint that's looking good now as you can see the text is way too sharp and we have the jagged edges so to fix this let's jump into main two composition select this layer and let's add a gaussian blur of around 8 or 10 and then go into effects and presets and use curves and this will help us to bring back the text sharpness let's switch this to alpha create a point like so and now we have some smooth edges now here i have a few textures you can download the free project file from the link in the description and there you'll find all these textures so first texture that i want to use is this one the tech from texture lab it's a free texture by the way and let's change the blend mode of this to add so this is going to be our main background texture and then go into effects and presets search for levels and drag this point like so so we have very subtle texture in the background we can scale this down so press s scale that down like so let's adjust this oh yeah that is looking much better now in order to add a level of detail we can add some texture onto our text as well so let's add a paper texture that i have and change the blend mode of this to i think it was multiply yep and then we can bring down the opacity we can play around with the opacity actually so that is fine let's add this texture and change the blend mode of this to screen there you go so we have another level of detail looking pretty nice and finally to top it all off you can see we have a smooth gradient so i want to make it kind of a you know glassy texture so here i have another texture from texture labs i'm gonna drag that up like that we can scale that down a little bit it's a quite huge texture and change the blend mode of this to overlay and press t and bring down the opacity a little bit but you can see the difference it makes in the gradient so this is before and this is after so i really like this viciousness that it adds and we can play around with the opacity of other textures in order to get a really satisfying look i think this looks much better let's preview our final animation and there you go there you have your really cool drippy looking text animation inside of after effects so that is all for today guys if you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments below and make sure to leave a like you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pawar and make sure to check out the complete series i have mentioned the link to the playlist in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative Peace out.